Good morning, everyone. It is Thursday, September 30th, the last day of September, and it's time for Daily Devotion, Thankful Thursday. Uh, today, I'm going to start us off by reading Psalm 34. I will extol the Lord at all times. His praise will always be on my lips. I will glorify in the Lord. Let the afflicted hear and rejoice. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he answered me. He delivered me from all of my fears. Those who took, those who look to him are radiant. Their faces are never covered with shame. This poor man called and the Lord heard him. He saved him out of all his troubles. The angels of the Lord encamps around him, those who fear him, and he delivers them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who takes refuge in him. Not a bad psalm of praise, and it actually reminded me of what I am truly thankful for. Um, most of the time on Thankful Thursdays, I talk about like people or things or events in life that I'm thankful for. Um, but today, it's more of a thankful, theologically thankful. Um, last night at Bible study, we've been talking about, we're, we're going through Romans chapter 8. Um, if y'all are ever interested, Wednesday, 6 o'clock, come join us. But uh, during, um, we're, we're talking about the difference between living in the flesh and living in the spirit. And when we were talking about living in the spirit, it, the reminder that, that we're not going to be perfect, but when we live in the spirit, it means that the spirit lives in us. The spirit is a, becomes a part of us. And the minute that the Holy Spirit enters into, into us, the minute God claims us, we can be assured that the Spirit will never leave. Uh, there'll never be anything you can do to make the Spirit leave. Your lack of faith will not cause the Spirit to leave. Um, sinning will not cause the Spirit to leave. Once the Spirit is a part of you, it's a part of you. And the minute that the Spirit is a part of you, it means that you are one of God's children, and you always will be. No ifs, ands, or buts. And I'll admit, there are times in my life that my faith is not very strong. Um, I'm a person, even though I'm a pastor, I'm still a person. And, you know, life gets us down. Life causes us to to hurt, uh, to, to have, yeah, to doubt. And sometimes holding on to the knowledge that we are gods and that we always will be is what can get us through those hard times. It's what can get us through the times where our faith is, is at its lowest. I am so thankful for the Holy Spirit. I am so thankful that because of the Holy Spirit, I have God with me always. I have God with me. Uh, I say it a lot, but it's so vital to me that, that, that God is with me when I, in my very best of times and my very worst of times and every time in between. And God rejoices with me and God cries with me and God plays solitaire with me. I, like everything, God is with me. And the same is true with you. And I'm really thankful for that. I am so grateful for that. Um, that I am loved by the creator of the universe so much that God is with me at all moments. And that has gotten me through so many hard times. It has made so many of the good times even better. It is truly the most remarkable gift, period. And I am so grateful for that. So this morning, what are you grateful for? Are there people in your lives that this week are you're just, just so thankful for? Are there 
things that have been going on in your life that you can say a prayer of thanksgiving for. Uh, maybe if you're not feeling very thankful this week, <clears throat> now's the time to take a second and, and just find something, even if it's something tiny, um, to remember that God has given us all of gift after gift. Uh, and then if you, you're interested, I'd love for you to share them. Let us pray. Holy Lord, thank you for this morning. Thank you for an opportunity to say thank you. But most importantly, thank you that your spirit has claimed us and has gone into our hearts and that we are now a part of the spirit. And that because of that, Lord, you are with us always. You are claiming us always. And we have the promise that we will never be apart from you. Thank you for giving us good times that we get to share with you. And thank you for holding our hands or crying with us through the hard times. It is a gift like none other. And I am so grateful and thankful for it. Lord, we lift up all the things that we are thankful for today. All of the people who we are thankful for today and for this church. Uh, that we get to be your family together with. Amen.